how to develop the project. Number five, further experimentation. By this stage, you should have plenty of ideas. This point in a project is all about experimentation. Experimenting with a variety of different materials, techniques and processes, but also exploring the meaning or concept behind your work as well. Your experimentation should be purposeful and meaningful. That means that you should be making conscious decisions on what media to use, for example, and understanding why you have made the decisions that you have made. At this stage, you are developing a clear direction for your work to go in. On the next few slides, I'll give you some examples of how you might select materials, techniques and processes depending on your starting point. This slide on materials, techniques and processes may be helpful in giving you some ideas on what to try. Materials refers to anything an artist uses to make their art. We often use the term media or medium when talking about selected materials. Technique in art refers to the method or skill of an artist in manipulating a medium or mediums to create a work of art. And process refers to an art form which requires certain steps to follow in order to create an outcome. For example, painting is a process, as is drawing, printmaking, collaging and shibori. OK, it's important to remember that this is just an example of how I might experiment further with a particular project. It's important to remember that your project may look completely different. So this is just ideas. So for this project, I started by looking at the art of Robin Brooks and I made an initial response. From there, I could take more photos. Robin Brooks is known for his landscape images, so I went with taking photos of woodland, um, lakes and hills. I could then from there sketch from my pictures or sketch from life and explore different composition ideas. I then went on to take a look at a second artist. I wanted ideas on how to develop my use of colour. I looked at Dion Swift, uh, who uses um, paint bars. Uh, so I, I had to go at using oil pastels to recreate some of the work that she did. This gave me a really good idea on how I could change the way I use colour. I then went on to use different mark making tools to create collage papers. Um, and looked at different processes such as marbling, graffito, stumbling, sponging. I used my papers to make more collages based on my landscape sketches and images. I then took a look at another artist. I looked at Vincent van Gogh, uh, in particular his drawings, to get some ideas for mark making. Um, and then took this into fabric. So I explored textiles further. Um, I had a go at using shibori and batik as different processes for dyeing fabric and manipulating fabric. fabric. I then went on to use the fabric that I had dyed to create um, appliques um, by layering the different patterns over the top. You can experiment with different combinations of marks, patterns, colours and compositions. Experimentation is all about um, trying new things and seeing what you like um, and what perhaps isn't quite as effective. OK, so this is a second um, exemplar project. Um, this one I started by looking at Louis Jova and I created an initial response. From there again I've gone on to take more photographs uh, focusing on emotion and facial expression um, and also individual facial features.
from my photographs, I created some experimental studies um, using the pictures and also looking in the mirror. And then looking at different surfaces to work on. Um, so I looked at using old book pages, music sheets, round parcel paper and newspaper. And then exploring the ways of preparing the backgrounds using collaging processes to, collect, to layer the different combinations of papers. It's a good idea to experiment with a wide range of different mediums on their own as well as combined. So some examples, pencil, charcoal, soft pastels, biro, fine liner, felt tip pen, watercolour paint, drawing ink and acrylic paint. And I then went on to experiment uh, with colour. Um, so for me, I was looking at emotion and how colour portrays emotion. Um, but you may just want to look at colour um, as a way of progressing your work. Um, develop your work further by exploring art digitally if you are able, um, manipulating your work that you've already completed or can create new experimental pieces. If you're lucky enough to, be a, to have access to a tablet and a drawing pencil, um, then this is a really great way of developing your ideas. If not, you can still develop your use of colour um, by using a, a, a range of different materials um, as aforementioned. Further experimentation to summarise. Take your artist research response as a starting point only. Don't be afraid to move away from their style or choice of materials, techniques and processes. It's always a good idea to take more pictures. Depending on your theme, having images to work from or first-hand sketches gives you more to develop. If you aren't inspired by your images, just take more. Look at more artists for more ideas. Experimentation means you can keep producing studies. There is no limit. It should be purposeful. If something doesn't look right, what could you change so as it does? Annotate as you go. Writing notes as you work helps to explain the decisions you have made and how you can develop further. Experiment with materials, techniques and processes until you have a clear idea for a final outcome. 